Well, climate change is undoubtedly among the biggest issues facing modern society. With over 25,000 official delegates currently in Paris for COP21, it is clear that this issue is of global significance. Well, experts predict that the South African continent will be the hardest hit by climate change due to poverty, reliance on rain and disease outbreak. Well, despite the fact that the city of Cape Town and Johannesburg have been named international winners for climate action at the Paris Climate Conference, South Africa in general still bears the effects of this phenomena. Here to tell us a bit more is Wits University's Professor of Environmental Management and Sustainability Science, Professor Danny Simatele. A very good morning to you, Prof. Thank you so much and welcome to Morning Life. Good morning, Nyanda. Prof, you know, when, when this whole climate change issue came to the fore, we remember uh, the U.S. Uh, you know, being at the forefront of it, some people thought oh, it, it's not really that important. But when we look at the smog that's in Beijing right now, I read a story about that a little bit earlier. This is a dire condition that needs to be dealt with as a matter of urgency, is it not? It is, it is. And you've rightly pointed out, you know, one of the issues about climate change, it doesn't occur so suddenly that you see the impacts there and then. And I like to call it, you know, climate change is about what we might consider invidious impact. It's a gradual process, which, you know, the implications actually, you know, kind of slowly accumulates. And then you have got this huge bang of effects. And I'll give you an example. You know, um, a few years ago, right starting from the 60s down to the 70s, we had rainfall in South Africa and it rained at the same time. And our parents knew that, well, now we're heading into October, the rain's about to come. Mm. Now, it's just become very difficult to predict rainfall in South Africa. In fact, climate change, I can tell you, has become one of the wicked problems that the global community has to deal with. And especially, you know, you know a, a, a country such as South Africa, where, you know, the majority of our people are really considered to be poor. So the impacts are going to be massive. Mm. Until we start thinking and looking for alternative means of how we can start thinking about climate change and developing appropriate strategies not to off, not, not, not to get rid of climate change because climate change is here anyway. Yeah. So we need to start thinking about how do we adapt mm. to the changes that we are observing at the moment. And try and mitigate those factors and minimize the degradation further. Exactly. Yeah. So the question here is how do we you know, uh, reduce and mitigate. Yeah. I mean, they, you, you did refer to the current you know, uh, uh, discussions that are taking place in, 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 in Paris. You know, one of the key issues there has been how do we bring down the green, greenhouse gases? Mm -hmm. That has been one, one of the biggest problems. And obviously, you know, you, know, you know, starting from the Kyoto Protocol in 1992, mm -hmm. the biggest argument has been who takes responsibility. And that's my next question to you, because the burden of responsibility largely sits with us, uh, you know, equal exactly. to, to your industrial uh, nations. But they are the, the, the ones who are the perpetrators the most. And that's why we're talking about climate change justice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, 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 you know, it's quite, like I said, it's a wicked problem. You know, you heard recently uh, uh, the Prime Minister of mm. India when he gave his speech, he said, listen, guys, we just want to give an opportunity to our people to have energy. Mm. We want to bring our people to a level where you guys in the developed north have reached. And I can, you know, I can actually speak that you know, I'm, I'm sure as, as a country, we've got the same sentiments. We would like our people to come out of poverty. And one way we have to do that is to actually find appropriate energy sources. Because our lives revolve around, about, around energy. You know, energy drives our industries. Energy drives all the subsectors of our economy. Right now we're talking to you, we're using energy, and I'm mm -hmm. sure our viewers would not have been able to see us if we were in the dark. So we need energy, and energy is actually at the core of human sustenance. Mm -hmm. So the question is now, you know, how do we start venturing into other sources? And we know traditionally, you know, traditionally energy has been produced through, you know, you know, you know uh, 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 burning of coal. And mm -hmm. burning of coal is considered to be one of the biggest 
contributors to you know you know carbon you know carbon dioxide mm. which again is the largest contributor to global warming and, and climate change mm. you know I don't want to spend too much time on that because we'll, mm. we'll, I will run mm. out of time yes, very quickly. Yes, but yes. I wonder whether or not there is will among the global players because they can't even agree on, on, on financing uh, developing countries to deal with climate change. We bear the brunt. Yes. They can't even agree on legally binding um, uh, uh, stipulations on, on, on how that all of us should yeah. come to the party and make sure that we minimize our greenhouse gas emissions. So we can't agree on the basis. Is there even will to see this change? Or do you talk with one hand on one side and say, oh, this is such a serious problem, we must deal with it. And behind the scenes, we're saying, oh, we need to develop. So let's keep on uh, firing up those factories. And exactly, and that's the problem. That is where the problem lies. Until we can get to a point where we have to make huge sacrifices. We have to make ourselves become very uncomfortable you know, and I, I was laughing a few, a, few, a few weeks ago when I was in the U.S. where, you know, everybody wants to drive a big car, okay? And you look at, you know, we need to actually move towards the situation where we have to have change in values, change in perception. And much of this, I'm afraid, lies within our institutions. Mm. Institutions shape behavior. They shape aspirations, okay? Now, if our global leaders will start looking at the very fact to say, and appreciating the fact that, you know, what we are doing, wherever we are, has implications on the poor, we need to have, start thinking ethically so that we can have, you know, we don't just think for us, about ourselves, we need to think about the poor. And so you rate our, our motorcades and our blue lights need to start being uh, hydro-powered vehicles as opposed to those SUVs? You know, I love that. You know, recently we have, you know, we had the in initiative that was introduced where we had to catch on the bus to go to work, mm -hmm. you know, in South Africa. And I like the fact that I could leave my car home, yeah. jump on the car, you know, car, you know, car train bus mm -hmm. and get into work. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the idea that, you know, if we had system, and I like what the, the city of Johannesburg are trying to do, mm -hmm. to introduce back you know, cycling to go into work. Yeah. And, and uh, that's quite a lot of investment that will be required to so actually change the system. So it's a mind shift. We have yes. to change the psyche, it's a collective serious mind psyche. that we need to do. We have unfortunately run out, out of time. I did forecast this. I saw it coming that we would have so much to talk about in very little yeah. time. Professor Danny Simatele uh, talking to us about climate change and its effects on Africa uh, as well as the world. Let's leave it there at least for now. It is one of those topics that we will have to revisit in no time. So let's uh, do that again next time. Thank you so much for joining us. A quick ad break. We'll be back with more in just a minute.